Hello friends, welcome to my channel VPS Travel and I'm your friend Rahul Sherawat. In today's video, I'll explain Indian business visa process for foreigners. So I request you all to watch this video till end so there will be no doubt. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, so subscribe it. So first of all, I'll explain who are eligible for applying Indian business visa. Those people who wish to set up their business venture or industry in India, they they can apply for this visa. So number second, if a, if a foreigner person would like to sell or purchase anything from India then he can apply for business visa if there is a business related meeting could be technical meeting discussion attending board meeting or general meeting we can say so these people can also apply for uh, this visa apart from this if a foreigner guy would like to hire Indian people then he can also apply for business visa. If a foreigner guy is the partner of any company or director of any company, then he is also eligible for this Indian business visa. There are few more categories like commercial sports, uh, people who wish to come on Indian Premier League or Indian Soccer League, etc. So they also have to take Indian business visa. Another category is crew member of scheduled or non-scheduled flights. So if there is a tour related to business travel and if any travel agent conduct any business tourism then he also need to apply for business indian business visa so next i would like to tell you what all are the conditions apply while applying this visa so number first is you must be having sufficient funds in your account and uh, if you are coming for any business you must be have expertise in that skills second condition is that if any foreigner is coming to india he must not uh, indulge in fund lending or full-time job number third point is the person who is coming on indian business visa he must pay all the tax liabilities now we will talk about the duration of business visa and other conditions so nationalities like uh, us uk canada and japan these people get 10 years visa and these people can stay up to 180 days without any registration if we talk about other nationalities then they get five years multiple entry visa and uh, they can stay up to 180 days and registration is not required for them this condition 33 countries are excluded those names i will provide in description next if we talk about the urgent cases then people get easily visa in 48 hours and one, one more thing you need to note that if you are going to stay more than 180 days then your your registration is must next thing i would like to tell that uh, business visa is non-convertible visa so you cannot convert it into a study visa or any type of visa so those people who wish to apply for other category they need to exit from the country and then they need to avail another visa now let's talk about the extension conditions if we talk about the five year visa then this visa can be extended for next five years but there is a condition their gross sales should be uh, not less than one crore it should be within two years of setting the business so those people who apply for business visa they also get indian business card so with that card they get immediate clearance at immigration now i'll explain about prs full form of prs is permanent residency status here and this visa duration is 10 years and it is a multiple entry visa and people can extend this visa for next 10 years but for applying this prs they need to fulfill few conditions so they need to follow fti route in this thing what they need to do they do investment of 10 crores within 18 months or second condition is they can uh, they can do investment of 25 crores in 36 months so apart from this they need to fulfill one condition they are hiring at least 20 people in their company and but for pakistan nations this prs is not applicable they they will not get it so those people who apply for prs they get b4 visa and their dependent get b4x visa if dependent get this visa they need not to worry about the other category visa like student visa this visa is eligible for all type of work they can do jobs if they go for jobs then the criteria that a foreigner have to follow that his salary should be in slabs of 16.25 lakh it will not applicable for these people if i talk about the other benefits then these people no need no need to register to registration every year as we know that any foreigner is not eligible for purchasing any property but in that visa these people can purchase at least one residential property and for uh, 
those people who are having prs they have to submit their fc gpr every year so i hope friends your all doubts will be clear in this video so if you have any other doubt you can comment me you can also call me on my whatsapp number that is 9643960456 and apart from this if you have any requirement related to frr or services oci visa extension visa conversion and uh, business related registration so you you can also take our services so thanks for watching this video